Well, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mix martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now he always uh, says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, Chen. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Grace the Octagon, we are set to go for our main event of the evening. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad Ali. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. All right, this matchup of combat sports legends is underway. Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. And for Cassius Clay, of course, the thriller in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. Let us see what type of history he can make tonight against Ali. I mean, so many believe that Mike Tyson could be the one that will cause Muhammad Ali issues. We finally get the question answered tonight as they get locked in the octagon. It's Tyson's ferocity, his speed against the craftiness of Muhammad Ali. Let's see who's going to be victorious. Nice straight punch there. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch and the first one you learn is a jab. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Tass is trying to find that shot again. 
Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Oh, and there's that hook again, but this one is down. I heard him again. Back to his feet. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Beautiful defensive skills on this play. Ali's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. They're so evenly matched. They're so intact. Swing and a miss with that punch by Ali. Stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round, and he wasn't responding. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Now that cut is only getting worse. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Hook attempt now. Oh, make the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive up and left leg. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving forward. He might draw some names in the top five. Huge win for Mike Tyson with the odds stacked against him here tonight.